All right, Ed, what do you got for me now? We are going to do another version of the game deck. We had the one where the lid opened the whole way. People kept saying they didn't like having to take stuff off of it to get inside of it. So I'm going to try to do cantilever one. But I think it's going to have to be a little bit bigger. No drawings, we're just making shit up. Three and seven eighths, inch and a half. Now we gotta put the, the notch for the magnetic rail in it. So you have your notch where your accessory will actually sit, and this is where the piece of metal goes that everything sticks to. Normally, there's 11 inches in here. That is the size of your standard player deck. These are the smallest cantilever hinges I could find. They don't fit in there. So we're gonna have to go at least an inch bigger. I don't know, is that too big? We're gonna do it. We're gonna make it this big, see, see what happens. If they don't like it, we'll burn it. <laughs> Might have to modify this bitch a little bit. Why's that? Well, I still gotta fit a half inch bottom down here. We'll cut off this bottom set of holes. Put a new set of holes in. Pretty fucking straight to me. Now that we cut this off, I'm gonna put the holes that were there back in it so we have more to mount with. Always deburr your metal holes. Beautiful. We'll see you tomorrow. I guess actually we should probably go back out there and get wood to glue up for the top. Did you say wood? Who is that fucking from Full House? The comedian oh, guy? He did that fucking beaver like dude. The wood did you say wood? <laughs> God, I can't remember his name. Yeah, I remember Danny Tanner. Uncle. Uncle Jesse. Fuck. Damn it. Wow. I don't know how you knock the sharpness off the inside of your corners, but I use a shoulder paint. After lunch, I'll be working on the cantilever game deck. Do we want to get a rod to go across there so we don't have the back and forth issue? I guess you can try it out and see if it needs it. Don't do that. Well done.
think, Troy? I think it's sexy. You like it? Mixed feelings. Mixed feelings? What's your yeah. opinion? I think the lift is a great idea. Yeah. Cost of that lift in this footprint and the struggle we'll go through to get that balance. I like the concept. I yeah. just don't know if it's going to... A lot of guts, a lot of material yeah. for... I don't know. Alright, so we'll start back over here. So the last game that we did, which Doug and them didn't see yet, is cantilever one, which it keeps everything flat. But I had this idea, and I know I've seen it in comments, but again, I've done it with the dog bed coffee table when I was working on that. So we're going to make a better version of this. We're going to reorient the slides, make it look a little bit better. So this should be all the pieces we need for one of them. tipping issue. We get slightly shorter slides so it only opens to about there. You have no issue with tipping. I like it. Hey. So what, what, what are we doing here? Modular game table. It's a modular game table because the pieces are interchangeable. So they are picking a variety of just random pieces we had lying around to build a modular game table. Yeah, the problem now is though that everyone's going to want to know why they can't buy this table. Paduke Shield, like, like Maple Side, Wenge. Like the Franken... The Frank, yeah, with the Franken put? Yeah, something like that. Just there's no damage to it. The Franken put had gone through a lot. Oh my god. This is all pristine parts. Is it the same as the small one? It's the same as the small leg. Yeah. Uh, it'll be all right. <laughs> uh, this one is deeper for two reasons. This one just cantilevers up. Whoa! Now you can keep your screens up here, the ones that you already bought from Wormwood, and you don't have to take them off to access the inside. There's one. Same kind of thing, you don't have to lift anything. This one just... Whoa! Slides open. It's a little slippy. Real easy to open because I put a little notch in there. Maybe he's this way. Oh, I think I spot the crazy end. Ah, there you is. I had a thought last night. From the beginning, I was thinking, figuring it was gonna have your three DM, GM screens. And I have the top stopped so that three of those won't tip it over. But I didn't really think about if you had any accessories in there. So I'm a little worried about like, if you had, say, two cup holders. Two drinks. Now what's gonna happen? <gasps> I'm gonna tip over. Uh -oh. So I made this little guy. You can double as a fidget spinner, or got four little magnets in it. You put it on the inside slot and then slide it the whole way front. Now you just can't. You're gonna break the slides before anything tips over. I talked to Kelly already. I think we're just gonna include that thing. And then it fits down inside here. Lay it down there. If you don't wanna use it, you don't have to use it. Or if you wanna use it, put it in there. Slide it. Problem solved. 